Good morning, class. Um, today I'm coming from Surfside, um, South Carolina, and um, I can, I'm going to continue my uh, EB today on uh, piracy. Uh, in 1492, when Columbus sailed the ocean blue in search of the, the Indies and the heavily coveted spices and goods from Asia, uh, he helped jumpstart the Atlantic and Indian Ocean trade. Um, of course, he doesn't find it. He ends up in North, uh, North America, uh, the West Indies, as you would know it now, and um, in the Caribbean. So in 1498, the Portuguese uh, sail around the Cape of Good Hope and um, would make it to Calicut, India, uh, which was a very um, lucrative uh, port, but only to see that the Muslim traders were already there and well established. So, you know, they're on the open seas and, you know, they would be able to pirate things from in, in, in that area. Uh, then, of course, in the late 1500s, Spanish shipping uh, is attacked by the English pirates endorsed by <coughs> Elizabeth I. Uh, and then after 1588, when the English would begin to dominate the seas, we'd see more piracy, um, especially during the wars between England and France and so on. Um, the English would use these privateers, they would officially endorse them to attack um, the French or whoever else they were in, in, uh, against. Um, this first selection uh, that I'm uh, looking at of dealing with pirates is by, um, it's called um, Pirates, Merchants, Settlers, uh, Slaves, including America and the Indo-Atlantic World by Kevin P. McDonald. It explores the relationship between piracy, um, colonialism, uh, slavery, uh, these inter-oceanic uh, networks, and um, these cross-cultural um, interactions. Uh, he begins and talks about ca uh, Captain Thomas II as a pirate. Um, in 1694, he too is seen with Benjamin Fletcher, which was the go who was the governor of New York, riding in an open carriage. So we see that many of these colonial um, Governors had relationships, good relationships and bad relationships, with these uh, with many pirates. But this piracy helped to launch this informal global trade between the Atlantic and the Indian Ocean. So it was good for these governors and their colonies to potentially make um, uh, friends with pirates and help the trade in their colony. Um, piracy really is best understood. It's it's it's. <clears throat> Um, along a fluid spectrum rather than just a single act or a static category. Um, you know, piracy could be, you know, a single act of piracy is just, you can see from some characters, whereas others would spend their entire lives um, uh, pillaging. And then the multiple characters falling in between. Um, the second selection by Neil Rennie is called Treasure Neverland. It looks at the connection between real pirates and uh, fictional ones. Uh, pirates like John Avery, Clinton Atkinson, and Thomas Walton, which were real pirates, but not real well known, but they share as equally interesting um, uh, pirate stories. Um, uh, Rennie discusses a 1639 pamphlet about two pirates um, that, uh, uh, again, Walton and Clinton, who were, um, again, these are pirates and, and uh, they end up dying, but uh, they had great stories. Um, Pirates, corsairs, buccaneers were complicated characters, and I'm not sure that we can completely understand uh, who they are due to the number of both fictional stories that usually accompany them. Uh, you know, when we think of Blackbeard, we, we, we see his character. What, who is he? Who is Blackbeard? Is he Edward Teach, Edward Thatch? Where was he born? Um, Bristol. And there's all kinds of things we don't know. Um, and that's what makes these stories, and that's what's what makes pirates something that, you know, it's, Treasure Island, and you know, was was made. For, for William Defoe's the, the history of pirates. These are just you know awesome uh, stories that uh, really capture interest. So, um, if you get a chance to to take a look at those selections, and um, this is something I'm looking forward to doing. At the same time, the research can be difficult because I'm finding that some of the documents um, are very difficult to read. Uh, the primary source ones. Um, but um, have a great week, guys, and I uh, hope you enjoyed the, this uh, discussion. Have a great